I have been in church ministry since 2003, if you can believe it. And one of the questions that I receive the most is, how do I pray? How can I pray? Is prayer something that only pastors can do? Or is there a way for me to be able to share what is going on in my life? What's the right way to pray? Eyes open, eyes closed, hands clasped together, hands lifted up into the sky. And what should I do with my body? Do I have to sit still? Or can I walk around and move and pray? And the answer that I always have uh, is, is this. Yes, <laughs> those are all the right ways to pray. In fact, when we think about the Psalms, we see three different intentional ways in which we can pray. The first is um, praising God's name. We find these in Psalms like 145. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. So we can give thanks to God. That's one of the ways to pray, is to be able to say all of the ways in which you see God, um, God's power, God's faithfulness at work in your life. The next way um, we find in Psalms is to ask. To be able to ask um, all of those things that are on our hearts, those needs that we have, and put them before God. In Psalm 86, we hear these words. Hear me, Lord and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am faithful to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I call to you all day long. So what are the things that you are in need of? Do you have those concerns that you have for family and friends? Lift those up to God. And finally, in the Psalms, we see these places of lament, these prayers of lament, of asking God, how long, oh God, will you forget me forever? That's found in Psalm 13 or Psalm 130 that says, out of the depths, I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. These are three ways that we can pray and be intentional about prayer. And as we begin our Lenten season, prayer is one of those ways that we can be intentional, where we can really spend some time with God. And, and this might be the first time that you are adding an intentional prayer practice. It might feel really different to you. It might be hard. I, I'm reminded of this story that author Sarah Bessie shares about her son, who was like nine or 10 at the time. And his Sunday school teacher asked the class, asked the kids there to draw a picture of prayer. That was their prompt. And so kids drew pictures of things that they wanted, like um, iPods or an iPad or um, the latest uh, techno game things that were happening. <laughs> Some people drew a picture, some of these kids, of um, their loved ones, of thinking about the ways in which their loved one was in need. Sarah's son drew this picture. It, it, it is a picture of him and of Jesus sitting together, looking out into the world. And uh, there are these thought bubbles that come up in this picture and her son's thought bubble says, I love you, Jesus. And Jesus's thought bubble says, I love you. Sometimes just sitting in God's presence is a way for us to pray. So I'm inviting you in these next few weeks to find a way, a space where you can have some intentional prayer time. Maybe you have picked up our Lent bags, um, you'll find a candle in there. So light that candle. It's a way that you can remember that God's presence is with you and invite God into that space. 
Maybe you just sit outside and enjoy the beauty and just see what kind of prayers might come up for you. Or maybe you use some of these guides that are also found in those Lenten kits. Um, but you can also find these online. Just a way to be able to color. And as you color, to be able to pray. Or maybe you open up the Psalms. And in my Bible, I have space on the sides. And maybe as you read the Psalms, you can write in those open spaces the ways in which you are praying this Lent season. As we journey the next few weeks together, let's be reminded that God journeys with us, that we're not alone on this journey, and that the way we can spend time with God is just by praying. Whether we have words or no words, we don't have to have the right words because God is there with us and knows our heart. Prayer is that way we can be fully present and bring our full selves. So this Lenten season, let's do that. Let's bring our full selves to God. Praying prayers of praise, praying prayers of request, and praying prayers of lament, and trusting and knowing that God will be with us every moment. Amen.